I've suddenly realised um, what Steve Baker, he's the Northern Ireland Minister, not the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, that's Chris Heaton-Harris. Uh, Steve Baker is the Northern Ireland Minister. And I've suddenly realised who he reminds me of. Um, and now I know that Matt Hancock reminds me of a sort of slightly higher pitched uh, Frankie Howard. And I, th and I know people um, think I'm confusing Frankie Howard with Kenneth Williams, but I'm not. No, 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 I'm not. I know, no, no. Um, no but I, I think Steve Baker should be confused with Kenneth Williams. Kenneth Williams, e extraordinary, you know. I, I can't stand in you, no, if I see one in the script. I whip it out immediately. Yeah, I whip it out immediately. Well, yeah, well, this morning, this morning, extraordinary. He saw the camera outside number ten, and he came over to the journalists. Oh, well, the the prime minister's on the cusp. But he's on, he's on the cusp of an enormous opportunity. It's enormous. It's enormous. Well, the the the, 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 the nicest thing about quotes is that they just go on and on and and. and and you get immortalised, immortalised in a in a quotation, a qu quotation. Oh, oh matron, oh, innuendo. <laughs> so that I think probably is where Steve Baker lies. Uh, Steve Baker, the arch, the arch Brexiteer, who's caused so much trouble, so much trouble. Oh, no, didn't intend to. They've got in for me. They've got in for me, in for me. Oh. It just goes on and on, doesn't it?